And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted fella. No! I am your host. I doubt our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. Have you heard the latest thing women are complaining about? Many of you sent me this article. The latest thing women are complaining about. Oh, yes, over the years, women have complained about all kinds of things. Getting the right to vote. Equal pay for equal work. Fighting against discrimination in the workplace. Oh, yes. Over the years, women have had to overcome many, many challenges. And here is the latest. This is from the Los Angeles Times. Hillary Clinton, it says, broke new ground in her race for the White House. Yet, do you know what's coming here? Art, have you seen this story? Oh, no. Gary, have you seen this? Yeah. <laughs> Some iPhone users complain that when it comes to the hot gadget from Apple, women are still being treated like second-class citizens. Is it because it's too complicated for the little ladies to figure out? Maybe. But it says here that Apple said this week that on July 11th, It would upgrade the iPhone software for free with new features for all current owners. On the same day, it will start selling a new version, the iPhone 3G, that runs on a faster data network, includes GPS, and costs as little as $199. But, here comes the hyphenated last name that you knew had to be attached to this. Erica Watson hyphen Curry of Newport Beach was frustrated that the improvements didn't solve, get this, the fingernail problem. She and other women who have long nails, they probably bought at some Vietnamese nail salon as well as people of all genders with chunky fingers, have real trouble typing on the iPhone. Do you hear men with chunky fingers being interviewed by the Los Angeles Times? It says here the the hyphen, who's 39 years old, says her fingernails are typically between one-eighth and one-quarter of an inch long. And she wants the iPhone to include a stylus. Sweetie. Couldn't she go out and, like, uh, use a big pen or something? How about, what, use your nail file? (laughs) Says here, considering ergonomics and user studies indicating men and women use their fingers and nails differently, why does Apple persist in this misogyny? Apple is misogynistic. Can we find this woman, Gary? Let's try to find her. Watson hyphen Curry. Her uh, fingers are pictured in the article, by the way. Looks like she's pressing the G and it's reacting in the picture. Yes, uh, she apparently wrote in, uh, she responded to a blog on the LA Times website. 
says here, many people assert that one of the iPhone's best traits is its ability to function without a stylus. The often misplaced mini chopstick required by the Palm Pilot and other earlier handheld gadgets. Apple created the iPhone with a multi-touch screen, navigated by presses and swipes of the finger. Unlike a BlackBerry or Trio, which has a separate keyboard, the iPhone requires you to type by pressing a virtual keyboard that appears on the screen. Problem is, the iPhone's touchscreen responds to the electrical charge emitted by fingertips. And pretty though they may be, fingernails don't emit one. <laughs> when the first iPhone came out nearly a year ago, tech journalist Russell Shaw at ZDNet identified the fingernail problem and predicted that Apple might find a tough market with teenage girls. See, some people should to press the off button when they're going to make comment like I just made. <laughs> that did not require our board operator to hit the dump button. I edited myself. Got the big laugh and moved on. <laughs> just as good as saying it on the air. You'll just have to wonder what I said. Believe me, it's worse than you think. Says here, nevertheless, the company has sold 8 million iPhones and remains on track to sell 10 million by the end of this year, a goal that should be helped by the $200 price cut. The New York Times, citing Nielsen Mobile, reported this week that the number of women using smartphones more than doubled last year to 10.4 million, growing at a faster pace than men. Really? Apple's software automatically corrects typing mistakes, a feature that many people like, but it does sometimes guess the wrong letters. Well, so do human beings, for that matter. Apple has declined to comment about fingernails on the iPhone. In the past, the company has said that it's more natural to use the pointing tool you were born with, the finger. That's the pointing tool I like to use. And it goes on and on. So so here's a woman on the L.A. Times website uh, who has referred to, yeah, this is true. She did, now has made it into an article in the L.A. Times business section. She now says that Apple is misogynistic because when you touch the screen with longer fingernails on an iPhone, uh, that it uh, the touch screen does not react and you, you can't type accurately. Does anybody think this woman is overdoing it? Does anybody think she's... I mean, come on. By the way, maybe Apple just wants guys to be customers. Maybe they don't care if women are customers. You know, guys buy most of the gadgets anyway. I mean, even if the number of women is increasing faster than the number of men by rate, uh, men still own most of the gadgets. Men buy most of the gadgets first. Uh, men figure out how to use the gadgets Men are the most loyal gadget users. Maybe Apple doesn't care. There's no law that says they have to care, for Christ's sake. They're misogynistic because you can't have six-inch nails that type on the touchscreen. What do you think about that? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. It's the Tom Likas Show at 1 800 800 Tom. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. A female L.A. Times reader calls Apple Computer. What are they calling themselves? The Apple Corporation? Apple Incorporated? Apple? What do they call themselves? I don't know. Anyway. She calls them misogynistic. Because when you touch the screen of an iPhone with long fingernails, you can't type. What do you think about that? Allison on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you? Great. Awesome. I just couldn't help but um, think that, you know, it's not really it's not really a thing for the Apple to be targeting specific users for their phone, especially because they want as many people to buy their product as possible, right? 
Well, I don't know if that's true. I, I know I don't want as many listeners as I could possibly have. I want well, guys. Well, yeah. And that might mean that I have less listeners than I would have if I frosted my hair and uh, strutted around like Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> no, you'd probably just have less callers that are female because obviously you're intimidating to them, so they're not going to call and discuss whatever you like. Well, the, to the point I'm making to you is uh, not every business wants to appeal to every single person. Some yeah, products so exactly. and services are targeted to a particular audience. That's right. When it comes to gadgets, I happen to believe men are more likely to use gadgets than women. Oh, and that's totally right. But at the same so time... So why should they worry about, uh, you know, the occasional uh, empty-headed moron uh, who goes to the uh, acrylic nail salon and puts the three inches on? I know. I'm just saying is that, like, she could use the pad of her finger instead of using her fingernail, you know? But if it were that case where they're not targeting specific users, they'll, they'll come up with something like a, a pen or something. If they, think, if they think it's important. Yeah, if they think it's important, exactly. But, but it's but, really but, not but, because you can... Hey, oh, right. if, I, if, if, if every product isn't uh, uh, geared towards uh, empty-headed females with, with big, long claws, they're misogynist? <laughs> No. That's just silly. That's just silly. Yeah. But, yeah, I just couldn't help it, and I just couldn't get that thought out of my head, so I thought I'd let you know, because that's just really funny to me. Uh, I, and, and this is one of the reasons, by the way, may I point out, this is one of the reasons men don't take women seriously. This is the kind of thing women complain about. And this is the kind of gravity they give to a really silly situation. How about you clip the old nails, honey? Step it up. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. John on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. I just want to say that I'm glad that the iPhone doesn't pick up that fingernails because it sounds so annoying when people are typing on a computer touch screen or something and you just hear that clack, clack, clack. And it, oh, it's one of those sounds that I just want to come over there and... Oh, the well, you know what's the worst part of it? Women think this... <laughs> This is a whole other topic, and I think we're going to do this as a topic. Things women think are classy. They think that's classy? Well, well and that's the thing. Having nails that look like cat claws. <laughs> yeah. And then they sit there. You, you, you go into like an office somewhere, and there's a woman like trying to answer the phone. At, I go to like my, my, my law firm, the, 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 or I go to like my banker, and there's somebody sitting there, clack, clack, click, clack, click, clack, answering yeah, the phone. Keyboard or something. Right. Yeah, all, we already had to put up with the texting just with the regular phone. And it it's like women who adenoid. douse themselves in glitter before they go out. <laughs> Things women think are classy. It's a whole topic in and of itself, but, but this is one of the things right here. Oh, yeah, it's one of the most annoying sounds in the world. Thanks for taking my call, Tom. Can you take me out free FM style? What would that be? Uh, I think. Oh, wait, the- wait, we have it. Here it is. Yeah, thanks. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our. That's that's free FM style. No, no, no. This is free FM style. No, no. Don't don't we have the uh, the jingle? I, I had called for that. I thought you had heard me. <laughs> the jingle. <laughs> With just a few too many lyrics to fit the song. Kind of like most of the commercials they give me to read. You know, 70 seconds of copy. Read it in 60. Here we go. one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here. Look at all these. Let's say hello here to John on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, how you doing? I'm okay. Um, you know what, what? What it really comes down to, to me, is uh, materialistic bitches. They, they, they have no practicality in their lives. I mean, seriously, if my, if my fingernails were too long, okay, maybe I'd cut them if I wanted to use the phone. But, I mean, seriously, I wouldn't buy a phone that I couldn't use on a daily basis. Same way as, you know, if I had to grease my hips to get out of my doorway... I wouldn't buy a Honda Civic, you know, and have to squeeze myself yeah. into that, too. Yeah, I'm not going to drive a smart car, okay? Right, exactly. It's not going to happen. Right, right. So that's all i got to say. 
materialistic bitches. They always have to have the new gadget so they, they can show it off to their, their materialistic bitch friends at the nail salon while they're getting the nails. Ooh, look at my new bag. Look at my new shoes. Look at my new phone. Me, 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 me. <laughs> bitches. Hey, bon- Tom, take me out with a bong hit, please. Here you go, John. It's Danny on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> Great to talk to you. Hey, Tom, you got to find this lady, man. And, and just as a prank, send her one of those phones from the 80s that was big as your head. <laughs> sure, fat fingers can fit on that. <laughs> anyway, her saying that Apple is misogynistic would be like me saying that the shoe companies... Um, are misogynistic or prejudiced that they don't make stilettos, uh, you know, size 16 if I was into that, you know, kind of sort of thing, you know? Yeah. It's ridiculous. You know, you have to pick your, your target, and the target of gadgets is guys. Can I tell and you something? Want- can I tell you something as delicately as I can say this? Go ahead. Speaking of equipment that I don't want women touching with, uh, with those big claws. I, oh, I, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I know. Yeah. <laughs> Keep them away. Uh, Get one of those phones, Tom. I'm sure you can find one in the museum. (laughs) All right, Daddy, I'm on it. Call the Smithsonian. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Stephen on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Father. Hello, son. Yes, I was listening to your show, and I'm very entertained by it. Good. to mention what I you never mentioned the story is what did the salesman say when she wanted to buy it? I'm sure he said something about her nails, or was the phone too pretty? It looks good. Let me get it, and then let me complain about the manufacturer. She probably never even tried it. Do you have the iPhone? I need to get the iPhone. It's the latest fashion accessory. I'll just take it. Just wrap it up. I'll take it. That's about what she did. That's her right. friends had it, so she had to have it. That's right. And now look it. I, I bet you her friends are dikey women that don't even have nails. <laughs> Why would you believe that? Oh, I don't know. If they're using the phone, no problem. Oh, it looks pretty. Let me get it. <laughs> oh, it's not working. Not for me. <laughs> it's not meant to be for you then, honey. You know, most of those women with hyphenated names, there's a husband attached to that. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I'm sure he's probably told her, cut your nails. No. I want to complain. I'm going to write to the L.A. Man. Times about this. <laughs> I bet you he, the husband probably said, don't complain about it, because I will cut your nails or shut the phone up. I don't care. <laughs> Thank you, Stephen. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. We're talking about the women who've written to the Los Angeles Times, and one particular woman is complaining that uh, Apple is misogynistic, she says, because when you have long nails and you touch the touch screen on an iPhone, it doesn't register. So Steve Jobs, I guess, the misogynist. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Sarah on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? Great. Let's shake it. Okay, well, I can't believe that this is even an issue. I think it's bizarre. I mean, you know, we got presidential elections. We have a declining economy. We have crises all over, and people are really worried about if they're their target, target audience for Apple. I mean, so what about, like, 80-year-old people? Are they, like discriminatory against them because they're so old they can't use the damn thing like it's too complicated for them i mean come on this is so ridiculous and you know women like that give cool chicks like me a bad name i mean there's so much more important things going on in the world i think it's disgusting that it's even an issue that even someone even thought about it like that i mean who cares well the the la times cared to print it oh my goodness i mean if you i mean why can't you just use her finger and not her nail what's the what's the issue i don't understand don't know. I think it's disgusting, and I think people need to get bigger problems and have you know more important things to do. Well, this life. is why men don't take women seriously. It's stuff like this. No, I know, and it gets people like me a bad name that when I want to talk about something seriously, they don't take me. You know, they take it for granted because they think I'm worried about you know my nails breaking or something like that, and not you know paying my bills for other people's welfare or whatever that you know important things, of course. That's right. So. All right, so um, we take me out with a bong toe Kobe style. There you go, Sarah. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. 
She's so special to me. Uh, yeah, it beats in my heart. Uh, yeah, the air I breathe. Uh, She's so special to me. one 800 800 tom It's Chris on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. I just wanted to say Apple's doing this exactly the right way to sell to women because the second you give a bitch what she wants, she doesn't want it anymore. That's exactly right. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Could you take me out with the thank you, Jesus? I certainly can, Chris. Thank you, Jesus. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Aaron on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Great. All right. I just thought I'd let you know that uh, they made the touchscreen the way they did so that the ladies can't go through your phone book. Hey, I like that. They can't touch the phone book. They can't touch the text messages because they can't get to it. By the way, you know what they ought to do? I mean, honestly, why not? They ought to come up with saws. One of the phone companies, and I'll bet the guys would love to buy a phone like this. They should have a software that allows you to easily encode the names of all the chicks you're banging on the side. Right. You know, for example, one of the problems when you're banging chicks on the side, let's say you type the real name of the chick into the phone so you can remember her phone number. Right. When she calls you, there's her name. It's like uh, it's up in lights. These big screens with the names in big fonts. You know, so if you're banging some other chick, her name's going to appear on your screen big as day. Like, is anybody stupid enough to put the picture of chicks they're banging uh, along with the ringtone so that when the phone rings, you see her picture? Who does that? I've seen it. Surprisingly, pussies, fools. Right. Yeah, I don't. I don't keep any pictures associated with any of my phone calls. That's uh, that's a good move, I think. Brandy on the top, like your show. Hello, awesome, Tom. How you doing, man? Great. I love you. I I listen to you every day religiously. I tell all my guy friends listen to you, and I just had to call in. Usually, I don't. I just enjoy the listening. But this broad that you know got into the L.A. Times. She probably called them every day, wrote a letter, told and, you know, complained and cried to everyone. How could she call them? How, how could she uh, type uh, the number on the phone? Not reaching the main office. These women are persistent. These are the same women that get free items from major companies because they call and complain that the handle didn't fit their hand correctly. It's just yes. ridiculous. I worked in retail for a long time. and we, We'd have the same broads call in and things that they would tell us to say no. If they would just call and complain enough, they'd yeah. give them free anything. They're just cry babies. I, I think you're right about that. By the way, uh, can we make an outgoing call that I can talk on uh, an outgoing call here? How do we? Can we figure out how to do that? Because I, I, there's some great new technology I want to tell you about, and uh, there's no live voices. We don't have to inform anybody. We're calling them. We're going to make a phone call to uh, an automated voice. Uh, do we know how to put a phone call on that I could like dial out? Can I dial it out over here? All right. Here we go. This is uh, a service from Google. We don't have to dial nine on that. What is it? This is a service from Google, and it's called Google Four One One. It's free directory assistance, and it's automated. This is fantastic. Watch. Calls recorded. For more info, press star. Google Four One One. What city and state? New York. New York. New York, New York. What business name or category? Prostitution. Try again. Or you can say go back anytime. Prostitution. Prostitution. Searching. <laughs> to narrow it down, say a nearby intersection or enter a zip code. Or just say skip it. 42nd Street. <laughs> Forty seconds. I didn't find any results matching your search. Going back. New York, New York. What business name or category? Prostitution. Prostitution. Searching. To narrow it down, say a nearby intersection or enter a zip code. Or just say skip it. 8th Avenue and 42nd Street. Ace Avenue and 42nd Street. Top 8 results. Number 1. Prostitution in London, with a comparative view of that. No address listed. To select number 1, you can press 1 or say number 1. This is some of the choices. Number 2. 
Knitting Factory on Leonard Street, New York. Number three, Eastern Athletic Clubs on Clark Street, Brooklyn. <laughs> That's where you go. Number four, Epcot USA on Montague Street, Brooklyn. To start a new search, say start over anytime. Number five, American Civil Liberties Union on Broad Street, New York. Those prostitutes. Number six, New York Sun on Chambers Street, New York. Number seven, Lambda Legal Defense Fund on Wall Street, New York. Number eight, Allen Guttmacher Institute on Wall Street, New York. Top of the list. Number one, prostitution in London with a comparative view of that. No go, address. Go back. Two. Number two, going back. For help on how to spell the name or category using your keypad, press 1. New York, New York. What business name or category? Go back. Going back. You can also type in the five-digit zip code. What city and state? Las Vegas, Nevada. Las Vegas, Nevada. What business name or category? Strippers. Strippers. Searching. Top eight results. Number one, Las Vegas strippers on North 28th Street. Number two, affordable strippers on Westwood Drive. Going back. Las Vegas, Nevada. What business There you go. It's called Goog 411. And you can just spend hours trying to trick it with various categories and stuff. It's, it's just a lot of fun. Now, there's some technology for you gals. Tom Lankis. 1-800-5800-TOM. From Hollywood, I'm Tom Lankus at 1-800-5800-TOM. We're talking about the woman who called Apple misogynistic. Because using the touchscreen on the iPhone with long fingernails does not work when you're trying to type out numbers or letters or whatever. Yikes. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Robert on the Tom Lankus Show. Hello, Tom. Hello, Robert. Long-time listener, blah, 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 and I do care on how you're doing. Thank you so much. Now, just to let you know how stupid this woman is, they've already addressed this issue, and it's already been fixed. For women who cannot Godzilla claw their way across the keyboard or whose uh, sausage fingers will blob over multiple keys, <laughs> there is an iPhone stylus that you can purchase that clips right onto the side and you just use the, this specific stylus. And is it made of human skin? No, no, <laughs> but it will conduct the electrical impulse from the skin down the stylus. And I don't know if I can say the website, but you can buy it on thinkgeek.com. And I don't know why she never even thought to look it up, but if she just did a little research, she wouldn't even have had to have written the letter. Well, women doing research. You know what I think about that. Well, she probably couldn't stand the tack, 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 <laughs> Just typing Google.com could wake the neighbors. Yeah. All right. Well, that's it, Tom. Thank you. Thank you for that. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Thinkgeek.com. There's the gadget right there. Dean found it. Mm-hmm. Brad on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? I'm okay. Uh, slightly, first of all, I'm in from out of town. Uh, I'm in from the Midwest. Anytime I'm in out the L.A. area, I got 97.1 on listening to your show, Big Fan. I love that. They think that uh, you folks in the Midwest can't handle a program like this. Uh, please, do me a favor and get over there. We need you. I need some one-on-one -on -one in my life. Call your local station. Do you tell them? I'll, I'll work on it when I get back home, but let's concentrate on something else real quick. I heard you a little bit about uh, the chicks checking the cell phone. I was an idiot out one night, drinking a little bit out of town. I meet a girl from uh, from South America, Panama area. I put her name as Stacy from Panama, like an idiot. Stacy from Panama. I get a text message. You didn't put her photo on there too, so every time the phone rang, a couple of cu couple of big brown nipples came up on the screen. You didn't do that, did you? Uh, no, I, I didn't put a picture up, but I was an idiot and put that in. But I just uh, a remedy from the uh, Midwest that you could tell your listeners a good way of uh, getting avoiding that, which is what I've gone to now, 
so my girlfriend doesn't find the phone anymore. You put him in as out of area or blocked ID or something yeah, like that. Yeah, but you heard, make her name blocked ID. That's right. So if you, if you put out of area call, she thinks it could be a business call. She has no idea who it is. But regardless of it, I don't know who it was. Yeah, I did that for years. You know, I did that on my uh, trio. I put a uh, blocked number or blocked ID, unknown number, and then you you would have to dig into the listing in the palm. You'd have to dig deep in where there were notes. You'd have to go like two uh, two clicks in before you would finally find out the real name of the person. Well, that way at least you remember. But I, I, I just so I don't go, I try to remember who out of area was. Just so uh, that's, out of that's area. The first, that's the first month. I, I I really sometimes I think about saying to women, do you mind if I call you out of area? <laughs> hey, anything that works. I'll work on that back in the Midwest. Hopefully we get there. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Brad. one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Rudy on the Tom Likas How show. Going? Pretty good. Good, good. Yeah, I'm calling you, you know, about that girl. I mean, she's just dumb. I got a bigger one for her. Um, I'm here in the lot, you know, the suit of the lot, and it happens to be in a city where they actually discriminate against all women, as far as, you know, I'm concerned. It's West Hollywood. What's up with that? How come she doesn't complain about that? I mean, as a straight guy, I take my chances, like, in Watts overnight with the wiffle bat as in my defense and being caught here. <laughs> you know, garlic here is like uh, bringing, you know, like taking it to a vamp fest, you know, a vampire fest. It's like, <laughs> getting away. Oh. I don't hear girls complaining about that. What's up? <laughs> that, that, that's all. The, the, the girls do like to complain, but you're right. There are some things they don't complain about. Jesus. 1-800-5800-TOMS, our telephone number. Give me another dial tone there, Art. I'm going to try this again. Somebody uh, somebody writes in. They, they tried Goog 411, and they recommended that I try this. Let's try. It's 1-800-GOOG-411, like Google. Calls recorded. For more info, press star. Gook 411. What city and state? Anaheim, California. Anaheim, California. If that's not right, say go back. What business name or category? Prostitution. Prostitutes. If that's not right, say go back. Searching. Top eight results. Number one, city files injunction against prostitutes, pimps, no address listed. <laughs> to select number one, you can press one or say number one. Number two, Stephen Young Chiroc Link on North Broadway, Santa Ana. Number three, Whittier Daily News on Greenleaf Avenue, Whittier. Number four, the Westing Bonaventure Hotel and Suite on South Figueroa Street, no Los idea. Angeles. To start a new search, which listing number? Go back. Top of the list. Going back. For help on how to spell the name or category using your... All right, that's enough. <laughs> the Weston Bonaventure. So now if you call Goog 411 for Anaheim, they will send you to downtown LA to the Weston Bonaventure Hotel. I wonder if they know about that. I, this, this is going to be a lawsuit waiting to happen. And the Whittier Daily News, I had no idea. 1-800-5, it's a new service, by the way, from Google. You, I'm telling you, boys, you can play with this all day. Keep trying to trick it. <laughs> I think it needs a little work. 1-800... <laughs> Can't help it. 1-800-5, I'm going to choke my own vomit here in a second. 1-800-5, 800-TOM. Michael is listening to our online stream in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Go back. Albuquerque, New Mexico. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, Tom. I'm still laughing about the group 411. <laughs> um, I actually work for Apple, and I have an iPhone myself. And uh, to say that Apple is a uh, misogynist is uh, completely ridiculous. Looking at the uh, staff there, it's pretty much 50-50 males, females. So uh, that's complete BS to say that Apple is misogynist. And... Um, as far as this woman, I mean, that, that's just complete crap. I mean, I have small fingers as it is, and I have issues. My guess is, though, the kind of women who work at Apple don't have those big claws. 
No, they don't. <laughs> that's 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 why it's not an issue at Apple. Yeah, I, I guess. I don't not know. Not because they're it. misogynists. <laughs> Uh, it's just something that pisses me off. You either test the product or don't buy it. It, it. Don't turn my product into, you know, something. You're not the target audience. Don't turn it into something you want. If it's not for you, then don't buy it. Right. That's just how it goes. I agree. I, I think you need to come up with the take me out claw style or clack clack style. <laughs> or Goog 411 style. <laughs> <laughs> take me out Goog 411 style. I, I, um, we're going to have to get that together. <laughs> One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom Ellie on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Ah, oh, uh, hung up. There you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. This is Damon on the Tom Likas show. Hello. What's going on, Tom? Not much, Damon. All right, man. I think it's. Stupid man, those broads need to text all day. Why they just can't make a call? <laughs> That's a whole other question. You know, and the, and the real reason is because you can have twelve conversations going on at once when you send text messages. Yeah, <laughs> That's ridiculous. I mean, man. when people insist on sending texts, it's because they're too busy to talk to you. Oh, well, <laughs> that's why they're doing it, huh? Of course. Oh, man, they they come up with the most weirdest, inconvenient things in the world. That's exactly right. Hey, Tom, great listening to your show, man. You, you, you're wonderful. Take me out, uh, the guy who killed his wife style. Oh, Freddie Willite style. Here you go. I shot my wife in the stomach with 38. Why did you do this? She enticed me, and she ridiculed me throughout my lifetime. I'll see if she's alive. I think she did. Calls recorded. For more info, press star. Gook 411. What city and state? Chicago, Illinois. Chicago, Illinois. What business name or category? Unicorns. Unicorn. Searching. Top eight results. Number one. Unicorn Oil Corporation <laughs> on South Torrance Avenue. To select number one, you can press one or say number one. <laughs> number two. Unicorn Cleaning Services Incorporated on North St. Louis Avenue. <laughs> number three. Unicorn Club Limited. Uh, no address listed. Number four. Unicorn Club on North Halstead Street. To start a new search, say start over anytime. Start over. Number five, starting over. What city and state? San Francisco, California. San Francisco, California. What business name or category? Imaginary friend. Try again. Or you can say go back anytime. Dreamweaver. Three Weaver. No. If that's not right. To narrow it down, say a nearby intersection or enter a zip code. Or just say skip it. Nine double oh four six. I'll just skip this part. <laughs> Top eight results. Number one. Bear Weaver and Thomas on Stevens <laughs> Creek Boulevard, <laughs> Cupertino. <enough>. Number two. <laughs> By the way, a good part of my uh, Saturday night when it was 170 degrees Saturday night, I was on the phone calling Goog 411 all night. <laughs> getting, getting the results. That's right. It was hot out. What was I supposed to do? Our at Goog with a G, please. Goog. It's at one eight hundred Goog four one one. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at blowmeuptom dot com. The Tom Likas Show.